to you from Little Rock, Arkansas. Welcome to Sips on the Rock with Legacy Wine and Spirits. Join hosts and store owners Johnny Akins and David Bevins, along with product expert extraordinaire Jake Dell, as we chat about booze, news, and other happenings in the wide world of wine and spirits. Now, let's get to sipping. All right, we're live, folks. Welcome back what? to... What? Already? Uh, no, I know. Welcome back <laughs> Where to was our the Rock. Down? Fake out. <laughs> yeah, uh, late. I didn't give it to you. I just snuck it up on you this time. Huh. Okay, huh. so, well... Y'all might recall this lovely face next to me. We have Rachel back in the studio with us again today. She is uh, playing the part of Vanna White today. Yeah. <laughs> She's Vanna JR. Filling in for JR. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's Vanna Rachel today. <laughs> okay, so uh, actually, yeah, hold on. So uh, hold since on. you were on the show last, you've had some uh, life-changing events. I have. I got married. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Married. Got married. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Very you. nice. Thank Very you. nice. So, uh, what have you been doing the past? I don't know. I don't know when you were on last. It's been months. It has been. You've been um, over there in the next office over. Right. <laughs> changing your name. Yeah, and... change my name. Um, working for you guys. Right. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Um, and you were, uh, did you already <clears throat> take your last examination when you, before you were on last or your wine, uh, last wine certification? I can't remember if you had or not. I think you had just got maybe got. No, it. I think I was studying for it. I don't. Yeah. I don't believe yeah. I started. I took it yet. Cool. But, um, so yes, I am certified in the bag. Yeah. The bag. <laughs> and so last week we announced our our wine club, and Rachel is one of our uh, wine curators. So. Uh, she's Ooh. pretty awesome. She knows a lot of oh. stuff about wine. So. Request me. Yeah, request, <laughs> right? request Rachel. But you, not you everybody, yeah. right? <laughs> right, right? You get your pick of three different curators huh. who are going to hand select your uh, your wine bottles for your club purchases every month, and she's on the list. So be sure you. Yeah, we should have like a little Check her out. internal competition to see who gets uh, chosen <laughs> the, the most picks. to be uh, the, the, the wine curator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then some kind of like game show type thing with all three of them. Oh, that that'd would be, be funny. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, Jared would love that. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> well, let's, uh, we'll circle back to that. We need to get the wine club up and running first, which yeah, it is. Y'all can sign yeah, up the, right the, now. The, the wine club is up and going. We just announced it. Uh, what is today? Today is Tuesday. 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 So we just announced we officially it announced it yesterday. yesterday. Yep. So by the time you guys hear this, it will probably have been active for like a week or so. So hopefully we have hundreds and hundreds of people sign up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a lot of fun, I believe. Um, so yeah, speaking of today being Tuesday, we uh, are recording early. Uh, yep. Because we're going to be it's Labor Day weekend coming up, so we wanted to make sure that we were. Um. Well, we're not going to be here. Right. I mean, yeah. Say, say <laughs> we're going to make yeah, sure we're going to be I was on the gonna, road to I was going to make Orleans. up a lie saying that we were going to be so busy, but, <laughs> not, we're, but Dave and I will not be here. Yeah, so speaking <laughs> of New Orleans, we uh, have spoken of it many times before. We love it dearly. Uh, today, on this day in history, uh, is the day that Katrina hit. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. And, you know, what year was that? That was, of course, you had to ask that. Uh, 2002. No. That's my guess. No. Keep guess. Oh, five. You're right. Oh, you're right, yeah. 2005. I was actually en route to New Orleans when Katrina hit. Wow. I think I was in the Atlanta airport and uh, they were like, no, nope. rerouted to Miami <laughs> instead of New Orleans because no one was landing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except Katrina. <laughs> So yeah, looking forward to a weekend in New Orleans. Lots of good food, lots of good drinks. Mm -hmm. Just a good dirty, friends. filthy, lovely time. <laughs> yeah, Expect a full it. report when you get back. <laughs> you need to remember Can't give everything. A full report. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so also, as as promised, we are continuing our uh, our beer. What the hell do you call it? Tournament. No, well, what's the October thing? October Fest, Fest. Beer bracket. Yeah, bracket. Bracket. That's, that's the word I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. Sports word. <laughs> Sports word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today, if we're, let's jump on into it, right? Yeah. Um, Round two. 
this is the biggest round because of how wacky the bracket is set up because we have 11 entrants. So we're doing three rounds today, three matchups, six different beers, six different Octavius beers. Uh, Rachel, why don't you just pick a random matchup there and let's start off with it. Okay. Yeah, and you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't listen last time, we we're doing this blind. We're doing it with uh, th the three of us who don't get to see what it is. Rachel's going to know what's being poured and kind of, you know, be able to still talk about. It. And we're, we're picking a winner of each matchup until we get to the ultimate champion of Oktoberfest beer that's available in Arkansas. We're including American made and German made, and we're doing Marzen and Fest beer. So there's... Uh, Lots of variety within the same kind of umbrella. Micro and macro. Micro so, and macro. In case they didn't listen last time, who who won the last bracket? You know, Sam Adams defeated our local buddies, Lost 40, yeah. in the first round. And then uh, in the German matchup, we had a Weinstefaner beat the... What was it? The, oh, yeah, the Souls and, Souls and Spirits. Danke. Right. Now, okay. you guys let me know if you need more of a pour for That's the next ones. You can totally give me totally more of a pour than that. So maybe that those can be Johnny's. Okay. Okay, so, um, left. This is my left. Right. Okay. Okay, so that works. Yeah. Hand everybody a number one yeah, first. Really and then yeah. Very, you know, technical and scientific. Right, right. right. We try to be as professional. <laughs> as we can so what two beers do we have first we don't need to know which is which of course but Hello. number one number two thank you number one oh, thank you thank you you're welcome so in this 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 pair up is oh, am i supposed to say it yeah. yeah just which two they yeah, are not not don't tell us which one is which right okay. what are they <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess we could just go, we could just pick A or B without, right. that might be better. Yeah, don't, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Right. And then I'll reveal it. And then you'll mm. reveal. Yeah, yeah that's a better, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you might actually guess which one it is if you knew which one's right. are. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. ooh. Let's not the beer over. I think this is the first one where there's a runaway winner for me. And I'm not going to say it yet, but um, this very one, distinct this noses on this. Very two. easy call for me. Which the, my left is A. Your left. <laughs> really good job. <laughs> I'm going with. <laughs> I'm going with A. Okay. Banna. So A is clearly. I don't know for people who can't. This is terrible for people who are just listening and not watching. But like. A number one is definitely the lighter, the more of the fest beer right. style. Where B is is more malty, caramel, mm -hmm. sweet, bready. I, mm. A is pretty delicious. I mean, they both are. But we'll have to bring pretzels up next week. Do need yeah. a, little, a little salty <laughs> snack. <laughs> I like them. I like them both, and I actually do appreciate uh, what you just said about it, B. But A is like just something I would drink. I, B is easily the winner for B. me. B. B. Yeah. yeah. So that's um, <laughs> two for B, one for A. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I mean, A is so nice. And A is crisp. good. Yeah, and it finishes bitter and dry, and the hops come across more. Um, but if I'm drinking Oktoberfest. Okay, happen. so the winner is Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I knew it. Okay, and what, was, it. what was the other one? <laughs> the one that it was paired with it is the Sierra, Sierra Nevada, Nevada Oktoberfest. Yeah. Oh, wow. So the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest is a fest beer. Right. And um, the other one is more of a Marzen style. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Well, I tell you, I wouldn't have picked Sam Adams to go either. to the third round, but it keeps cruising man, along. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big Sierra fan. Yeah, you know? but th so this is the first year Sierra Nevada has been partnering with legit German breweries for the last like five or six years. They'll pick a German brewery and send their team over there and they'll get together and make a special version of an Oktoberfest beer with it. And then they'll also brew that beer at Sierra Nevada for why, you know, statewide distro. This is the first year they've done a fest beer instead of a Marson. And I feel like every year Sierra Nevada's Oktoberfest crushes, but 
that one just didn't seem as true to the style to me. I am really shocked weird. about Sam Adams. I, I, that goes to show that we are not playing tricks here. No, no, right? Because, <laughs> man, you put all these in a bag, and I would have said, eh, you yeah, know, Sam Adams, it's like, eh, it's good. I drink some every year, but it's not great. <laughs> so I guess we'll see how it keeps going. All right. Next matchup. Okay, next matchup. Here is uh, Muffin. Number one. And number two. Okay. I mix them together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Left. <laughs> right. Right. Got it. Mm. A and B. Uh-huh. Which is one and two legs. All right. These are actually pretty damn close. Yeah, together. this seems like more of a, a straight up head to head matchup, which we've had a few uh, mis- mismatched <laughs> ones here. It was hard to do the seating because I didn't want all the German beers to all go up against each other. And blah blah blah, all that stuff. I mean, the nose on B, I feel like, is a lot more coming out of the glass. Yeah, than yeah, the nose yeah on totally. B. Yeah, I was gonna say something. Like... <laughs> Swirl it around a little bit. Delicious dish. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that was right in the mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that, that yeah, one? That one. So you started chewing ice into the microphone. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that it's there. We should do an ASMR <laughs> right. the whole episode. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. I, I have uh, been sitting here and like I believe it was wine we were doing that day, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. sniffing yeah. my yeah. microphone instead of the glass. <laughs> like, yeah. <Right. laughs> Hmm. This one's tough. I don't love either one of these, really. Pelicans. A is a lot more classic grain to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like you really get the cereal grainy breadiness. And B is a little sweeter and 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 uh a little bit more full body, but I don't love the finish on B. Right. Yeah, you actually literally just took the words out of my mouth on everything. I literally didn't take yeah, any words out of your mouth. <laughs> I was th- I was thinking about those things. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with A <sighs> again. Right, one for A. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> See, I think that the finish on A is a little bit astringent. It's uh, not in a nice dry way. Uh, that's what I got from B. Hmm. Oh. I have picked mine. I have made my decision and don't want to. I'm going B. I'm going A. Yeah. <laughs> what was yours, Rachel? Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna go A as well. Oh. Um, well, look at me being the oddball. Yeah. That was the oddball last time. This gotta be one of us. Yeah, Johnny needs to be on a winning team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, number one. Uh, or eight was Bell's Oktoberfest. Yeah. Oh, damn. Number two was Yingling. I'm really glad. Okay, okay. Yeah. I knew you would be. I was hoping. <laughs> I need a recount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Bell's. I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm really having to question my tastes and my decisions in life. This uh, is why Bell's these exercises like, are so fun to do, man. You Bell's, know? as we all know, is one of my very top favorite brewers. Yeah, now anytime you say something about Bells or Expedition, I'm like, man, eh, do you really like them? Though? Uh, <laughs> well, you didn't know what you were drinking. You didn't, so. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that was interesting. When smelling them, I thought I was going to like B more. And then on the palate, I thought I thought A was pretty pretty easy to call. But Yingling wasn't bad. It wasn't like it was like 10 to 1 in my head. But they were actually really close yeah, to me. they were i think that's you know <clears throat> either the best or second best beer that yingling does so no shame well so now we're obviously on the german lineup uh we don't know which is which though <laughs> right <Okay. laughs> so we this have should be a fun one a and b and i forget on the brackets because Left. didn't we like didn't we Get down to one mm-hmm. selection. This was left. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? left. Do we get down to one favorite beer, or the both of the two favorites go into the next, next round? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
And then we have to taste those against something else. Right. Okay. Um, Cause you know, yeah, last show, Sam Adams beat lost 40. And then today it beat, uh, Sierra Nevada. Gotcha. Okay. Shocker. German beers. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, they both smell classically German. Yeah. These are stronger. You can like you can smell the the fermentation profile. A little stopped up. Mm. Need a bratwurst or some schnitzel or something with that. That's always good. I don't care what you're Mm. doing. Drinking. <laughs> I love German food. Me too. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been down to Fassler Hall, but they do great sausages down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we hadn't been there in a while. Have you ever been down to Fassler? I have. I fun, have, fun little yeah. place. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Um, yeah the 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 German beer garden over in Hot Springs is really really good too. I think much more authentic German food. Yeah. Uh, really cool place. Beer garden. Peter. All right, I have my winner. Me too. You want to go first this time, so you're not lagging behind. <laughs> I'm gonna go A. I was actually going A too. Mm, B was my favorite, so A wins. Like the maltiness, huh? Yeah. I know, I know mine doesn't really count, but I was going to say B. Yeah, no, we, uh, yeah, no, we want to hear your hear. input, what, too. Yeah. Did you say what your last one was? Uh, the, uh, the Bells was mine. Yeah. Was yeah. That David was the loner picking Yingling last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> So, which one was A? A one. Okay, so, um, yes, A one. That's the Weinstefaner. Yeah, I um, thought so. And that's a fast beer. And then the second is the Hackershore Marzen. There you go, Weinstefaner. That B, the Hackershore, that had the longest finish of any of them so far. I, I mean, like that that's one a lot. So long of a finish yeah. for a for a lager. Well, now the bracket has taken shape. Right. Oh boy. So your your winners <laughs> today are Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Uh, Weissman Fonner Fest beer and then Bell's Oktoberfest. Sam Ooh. Adams, a real Cinderella story. Moving uh, through the Cinderella <laughs> shot. Uh. <laughs> yeah, would you have thought before we started that Sierra Nevada would be out? Uh, Wise or wait, no, we haven't done Wiseacre yet, have we? No, that's no. coming next time. We still have two that we haven't tried yet. Um, the Vine, uh, the Wiseacre and the Tuker. Hooker. It's a new one to our market. Anyway, uh, cool. Yeah. Thank yeah, you I'm, I'm for surprised. Pouring. Sierra and Bells and Lost 40. Well, Bells Bell. is still in. You just didn't vote for it. So I'm so I'm excited to try the Wiseacre. I didn't I've not, not yeah. had there. That one I used to claim that was my favorite. And so we'll see how it's you know stacks up versus my memory. But, but that, that was my favorite Oktoberfest beer every year. I have I don't think I've had it. <clears throat> so I know that your uh interest and study both kind of lean wine heavy but you're a, you're a beer fan as well though oh yeah <laughs> i'm a, just an alcoholic beverage fan right, right. Yeah. exactly yeah. there's something to love in every category yeah. Right? right yeah yeah exactly by all means we uh had chops in the office earlier today which we'll get him back on the show here in the near future yeah pretty much confirmed that he and cassie will be back on the show Oh, yeah. that'd be fun. talking yeah. festival of darkness again which we had a blast Ooh. store field trip last year right yeah <laughs> we've got to get it planned again this year which yeah the, you know the theme this year is pirate zombie so uh i'm thinking that we definitely need to do group costumes. group costume yeah. oddly enough i actually have a pirate zombie costume already. <laughs> <laughs> he does i really you got a pirate costume and some big blood <laughs> you'll just have to see you'll have, yeah. to, you'll have to come and see me up. yeah i uh definitely we need to have a little round table about somebody can costumes. be the bird somebody can be dressed up as a parrot yeah right? i mean sure. zombie parrot well, zombie parrot be hilarious. Be yeah it would be cool. kind of cute <laughs> somebody be the peg leg 
<laughs> Zoe and I have decided what our Halloween costume is this year, and I cannot say because it's so good that we are waiting to surprise <laughs> literally everyone nice. we know. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, get get. High. I, I love know. your Bob's bar, uh, Bob's Burgers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so. Good. That was a fun one. Yeah, I never start thinking about costumes like until the week before when I'm starting to panic. Right. Like, what am I gonna wear? <laughs> because yeah. I still think about things. I'm not very good at planning. You know, no, I'm not very good at planning. So, oh, in other beer news, hot off the press from yeah. like two weeks ago, uh, <laughs> the Bourbon County lineup has been released. Uh, not to say the beers are out, but just right. They, they they'll tell they you are. what's coming because right. they're released every Black Friday. We'll get them in store the week of, and we're not allowed to sell them till the morning of Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. This year, there is a reserve uh, Eagle Rare. The cask finish, uh, sorry to read, Angel's Envy, uh, Bananas Foster Stout. No, thank you. Uh, are, <laughs> are any of these uh, going to be available in Arkansas? The, no, the regular one. The regular <laughs> one will be. Yeah. So Backyard Stout. I told David I'll yeah. use some of my uh, some my, my back channels yeah. to get us some. Um, <laughs> and we can... We can maybe open one or two on the show. And, That'd be cool. Yeah. That would be fun. Because bigger markets get all of them. And then even some of them that aren't so popular, the variants, they'll sit on the shelf. And we're we're here just like, can we please have one? Yeah, can I just, just have make one? more? Yeah, I guess that's like that's so easy unfair. To say. But when they have barrels like Angel's Envy and Eagle Rare, it's like there's only so much to go around, I guess. Yeah. yeah. They make the main variant. They make plenty of that one. Do but all those know? special well <laughs> do they, yeah. do they are you right. sure about that it's all relative all right we have to accept our limitations in arkansas yeah. <laughs> take what you can get yeah. uh in other beer related news uh i found this kind of shocking ab inbev inbev uh is still number one worldwide by like leaps and bounds uh what did that say 518 million hectoliters but that's like, I mean, don't they own like, well, it's Budweiser, so Ultra. Ultra. I mean, they own like a yeah. ton of, but yeah, I mean, like, they, not, you it's know, not just Budweiser. I mean, they own number, like no, but when you think of other countries, like <clears throat> that don't really drink craft beer, it's like right. a lot of Budweiser, Bud Light, right. A lot of countries Bush. that don't care about the Bud Light fiasco. Right. 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 Yeah. Like the rest of the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but like number two in comparison was Heineken and they yeah. were like 200 something million hectoliters yeah. and a hectoliter which is weird to think of beer in terms of hectoliters but a hectoliter is 1000 liters so 518 million hectoliters 51.8 billion liters of beer that was a lot of beer my brain hurts yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's That's crazy. Crazy. yeah. yeah. that is a huge amount of beer oh shoot <laughs> You just start recording. No, I just remember that. I did not record. It makes sense, too, about Heineken, because Heineken's like all of Europe. That's like the cheap beer that all of Europe drinks. Rosé was down 10% this summer. (gasps) Compared to last year? Yeah. Wow. And you can see on the board what was up. RTDs? Chillable Reds. Oh. Lambrusco, Gamay. I really do bet a lot of it was RTDs eaten into Rosé drinkers, too. I would think so. Well, but those two varietals there, the, the Lambrusco and Gamay, they were up. In sales, and Rose sure. Down. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm sure it wasn't the think, same number. Well, I was about to say, I mean, what's the actual yeah. difference? That because I mean, that Lambrusco. Yeah, I mean, it was probably at like point zero one percent of the. That's time. so strange. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Rose yeah. sales. Yeah. I would have never thought that. Uh, yeah. yeah, crazy. It hurts my heart a little bit. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> well, what were the numbers on Taylor Port? Oh God, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Thank they you, TikTok. kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, what else we got time for? Oh, we got plenty of time. We got five whole minutes left. <laughs> yeah, so, but that's, that's like, you know, Rosé and, you know, Gamay and Labrisco, that's like saying, you know, our, our cabs were down, but our cracker sales went up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In local news, uh, hyper local, the shell station next door is apparently <laughs> coming down soon. Uh, they've got the heavy equipment out. And, uh, I'm so curious to know what's going in there, though. I hope it's another bank. 
Oh gosh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I re- we are really yeah. struggling to have What if it's another here car wash? In, in <laughs> <Right. Right. laughs> yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Car wash or paint? Car wash or paint? <laughs> Total wine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. They wouldn't go in that little bit space now. <laughs> Not any chance. Uh, Arkansas legislation is thinking about calling in a special session starting oh. early as next month for to cut the taxes on the top earners and the uh, top corporations in Arkansas. Shut mm. up. Yeah, isn't mm. that cute? Mm. <laughs> We need a special session for that. It can't wait. Let's keep trying trickle down economics. Maybe in the 40th year, we, it'll start working. <laughs> Absolutely bizarre. Uh, so uh, we're waiting to hear who we're going to have as a new ABC director. But in federal news, the uh, federal alcohol czar uh, didn't write his name down, but he's trying to. Uh, model some reg, uh, guidelines coming out of Canada that uh, the recommendation is no more than two beers per week for what? For consumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For, for consumption. For each person? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> but where? Yeah. Each week. Well, some uh, of us have to pick up the slack for all the non <laughs> right? So. <laughs> Oh right, yeah. That's the that's a l- limit, not a requirement, I guess. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, there's not gonna be, like you're, you're not gonna have a punch card, you know. <laughs> yeah. I hope you've had your two beers this week. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm leaning more towards that being the rule <laughs> than a limit of like a requirement everybody has to drink. Two right, beers. right, right, right. Yeah, you have to have at least yeah, two yeah. beers a week. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. That's yeah. twenty-one and up. But like where? I'm not. Yeah, I just don't understand. Like at bars I mean, or yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's not like going to be a restriction. Just you know, a recommended guideline. Like they you know recommend. Hell, yeah, I was gonna say, they, I they recommend don't, you don't yeah. smoke. You know. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Like I don't. Like, I don't know how that could. It's obviously not something they could monitor. I see. I see. Oh, <laughs> why not just say nothing? If you're gonna go that far, why not just say we recommend you don't drink? If you're gonna do that, like yeah, what's yeah. the point of right. saying? I feel like it's a lot beers. of paperwork that doesn't Hoopla need for, to right, exist yeah. uh, you know yeah. what that is what you call bureaucracy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's more important matters yeah. is there <laughs> are you sure about that <laughs> i think this is exactly what we need to be worrying about <laughs> <laughs> uh speaking of yeah so like you know next door the shell station had a subway sandwich shop this was crazy i did not know this Subway is still a family-owned company. Oh, I didn't know that. But they're being bought out for nine billion dollars. Hmm. Well, well, I hope that the new nine paycheck. billion dollar owners. I know what he's going to say. Uh, I'm sure gonna... <laughs> back in there because it makes me really mad that I can't have my, have my deli mustard on my sandwich. But I get that because <laughs> I've always had. I've never seen a Subway like close, just like go out of business right. i feel like i feel like there's been the same subways mm-hmm. that exist in my hometown right. since yeah. i was Forever. born yeah, yeah. yeah. uh-huh right no they well, totally have well I, I hadn't been there in years since they took away the brown mustard they got I mean, rid of deli mustard that's Seems weird so how can you be a deli yeah. and not have deli mustard <laughs> yeah i don't I mean, know that was a deli? all the yeah. families were in consensus like <laughs> no more mustard yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> gotta, we gotta cut costs here. somewhere yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mustard, like one of I'm the cheapest. Sure. <laughs> when that was that was that during COVID that that happened? No, that was before. That was like a couple of years before COVID, if I, I remember. Right. That there was yeah, if there was price cuts. Y'all threw down it. the gauntlet. Yeah. And you're like, no more Subway. They got rid of the mustard. We're never <laughs> eating there again. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> never. I'll I'm be done. on the cold, dead yeah. ground yeah. before I go back to a Subway I sandwich shop. That will go to cheaper. <laughs> so I know uh, Jake. Did not celebrate, but Saturday, this past Saturday, was National Dog Day. Jake has uh, a dog. I, I know, did not even Maybe know I that. celebrated in my own way by watching dog videos online. Yeah. <laughs> and he, petting Mr. Giggles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Chinese food delivery guy thought he was a dog one time. He was like, we opened up the door and he was like, oh, hey there, pup. And we're like, that's our cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is 16 pounds, but he is a cat. <laughs> like oh sorry <laughs> we laugh so oh we're like oh bud they think you're a dog you're so <laughs> big and fluffy and fat 
That's <laughs> hilarious. Well, so um, there is a dog named Gunther. <laughs> Gunther is the sixth. Gunther the sixth. Uh, the dog, you talk about generational wealth. This dog is worth hundreds of millions <laughs> of dollars. Like is uh, Gunther the third was uh, owned by some, you know, uh, German Baroness or some lady anyway, uh, left her dog just oodles and oodles and oodles the of money. Dog. Poodles and poodles of money. Uh, poodles. <laughs> poodles of money. <laughs> Don't get his attention because he will never have generated generational wealth. <laughs> but uh, no, this dog has like houses all over the world, a jet to fly to and from. And get, mind you, his owner bequeathed all this money. So she's uh-huh. dead. He's owned by handlers. Who like buy these houses and buy these jets and take him back and forth and like he's got a personal chef and like this is the most obscene thing I've ever heard. <laughs> literally, <laughs> the dog bought Madonna's mansion in Florida <laughs> and was like living in her bedroom. I and, don't like. Yeah, I, I mean, so yeah. when the dog dies, where they does the money go? To Gunther the Seventh. Oh, just it's, it's, be... it's following the bloodline. Oh my no. god! So okay. my question is, I how do I get a job? <laughs> yeah, being a handler. I want to be the dog stuff. handler. I mean, the dog has like uh, European houses, like Italy and uh, Germany. He's got mansions in Florida, a jet. <laughs> you know, a personal chef. I mean, you know who we need to be taxing? <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The richest one percent dogs. <laughs> yeah, Gunther. Gunther. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if Gunther's paying his damn taxes. <laughs> I mean, like he could probably pay off student debt. <laughs> right. Like, like in the, I believe it was 1990 uh, when this lady passed away and left like 80 million to her dog, but now it's like over 400 million. It's like, okay, he's 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 even got a better investment broker. Right, than right. I do. The dog is making money. <laughs> wow. The dog is making money. Oh uh, yeah. Could you imagine what this lady? was like when she was alive though like the person who left all this money to her dog i mean she it had to be love anyone a else to leave as i was about to say yeah, either yeah. everybody in her life hated her or the other way the around, other around like yeah. she had yeah, nobody you else. had nobody yeah screw everybody but you know what Give there are charities in germany <laughs> i mean yeah <laughs> you could have done something with that money. i wonder if gunther gives to charities I, I, i'm sure that there's some type I'm sure, you know. <laughs> well, you got to keep that jet going. Maybe he gets to like dog, like um, pounds and stuff, or like you know. Yeah, uh, he owns sports teams, and like <laughs> he he goes out on the field at, at different sporting events, and like I mean that <laughs> dog has a better life than any of us will ever have. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> but yeah, he also does, uh, you know, community outreach, goes to hospitals and orphanages and all that stuff. So Jake, uh, what is what beer is on the next bracket? Let's announce that. that we'll, so next we'll week we will have the Wiseacre Tuker matchup that will finally get us into the final four. And so we have we'll then have Sam Adams going up against the winner of that one, and then we will have Bells matching up with Pauliner, which also hasn't been introduced yet. And the winner of that matchup will go up against the Von Stefaner. So we're down to a final six ish. Yeah. Anyway, we're bracket. Here's what it looks like. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it's gone swimmingly so far, and yeah. I love doing stuff like It's this. gone shockingly. Actually, yeah. I think that once we've actually finished the entire bracket, uh, we should have Katie like make it real nice, and, and we'll, yeah, we'll I mean, post I, it on social. We should get her and start doing one now, and yeah. so we can kind of, yeah, update Oh, yeah, update yeah, yeah, people. we should. Yeah. So you can like, try it at home, too. We'll cut out well, let's, we let's, see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see if Katie actually is listening to this and if she actually hears the request. <laughs> Jake doesn't even listen to this. Uh, right. That is not true. <laughs> I don't even listen to this. <laughs> all right, folks, we're out of time. We'll uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Rachel, for joining us. Yes, thank you for all your help. Cheers. Y'all be good. Join us again. Yeah, keep on sipping. Remember to subscribe to our podcast, Sips on the Rock, and like us on all the socials to keep up with what's new in the wide world of alcohol. Shop LegacyLR.com for curbside pickup or local delivery. Remember, for better service and better selection, shop local. Please enjoy responsibly. Cheers.